all right guys what is up what is up this is a crypto god guys we have some crazy news we have some charts we have some auction data to show you guys guys let's get it started uh straight away from william super bitcoin gains one thousand five hundred dollars in under an hour as bitcoin prices are raised days of downtrends so uh as we all know that the bitcoin options expires today uh, and of course, it, it's been pumping because what was happening that if the if the price of Bitcoin at the end of the day was around forty seven thousand, like a couple of people would have gone a huge payday. Now, whoever this was that pumped up Bitcoin by buying five thousand Bitcoin in an hour, uh, he clearly doesn't want those people to be uh, getting that end of year bonus. So let's keep it going to the next news. We got. Kevin O'Leary says his crypto holdings could reach 20% of his portfolio. Now that's very bullish from a billionaire like himself. It clearly shows to people that you should buy some crypto. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter if it's Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever coin you want to be. As long as it has good tokenomics, good fundamentals, it is worth your portfolio. News number three, we have Mexico. Mexico confirms that the rollout for CBDCs in 2024, that this shows that the, that the world is going towards a cryptocurrency like uh, 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 currency for, for everywhere. Uh, and, it, and, it, and it starts off with here with Mexico and all these other countries which are doing the same thing. They're going to uh, phase out cash and bring in uh, crypto CBDCs, which is very interesting and very bullish for the long term. All right. So straight away, let's go to the 24 hour. I want to see who is in profit and who is in loss. We can straight away see that Celsius is up 14.5%. Our weave is up 11. Spell token 10.5. All of a 10. Cosmos 8. CRV 6. Uniswap 6. And of course, Sushi 6. And of course, respectful to all the other coins which are up today as well. Now the coins that which are in losses for today is Olympus 4.3. IOTA 4.1, Huobi 2.1, 1.8 for Feta, and Pancake has actually been down 2%, um, which ain't that bad, but we do see that Pancake will go up in the future, especially with the things that they're trying to accomplish with their tokenomic burning incentives. So we're going to go straight into the on-chain data, and we can see that today 9,195 Bitcoin has been purchased, roughly around 400 and. 50 million dollars on the other hand we do see people selling off their uh, ethereum and uh we can also see if you scroll a little bit down that people are purchasing uh ftt there's a 50 million dollar purchase for ftt and of course a just under three million dollar for crv and of course with any other coin here i mean they have, they've been selling it they've been buying it but currently the time is 122 it is a sunday uh, sorry, my my apology. It's the end of the year and it's a Friday. <laughs> I'm getting confused. <laughs> All right, guys, now it's time to go towards the charts. Uh, I, I want to bring your attention towards the Bitcoin charts. Now, the Bitcoin charts are very important right now, especially at this time of time of day, time of place. I mean, first of all, there's low volume. Everyone's uh, going towards their New Year's. Everyone's around family. Uh, some of them don't want to work. Uh, etc but anyway let's keep it going so straight away we see here that we are in this pattern now i i do want to make this uh, as perfect as i can uh, let me see if i can make this uh, anyhow a little bit more perfect there you go so we can see that we're in the following channel it broke out to the upside because of that huge pump that someone did buy bitcoin which is amazing but i also want to show this fragment that it's about to signal, and this is on the four hour chart. If I bring this flag all the way down here, which is the length of the flag, uh, where the support last was, and I bring this all the way here where it's gonna break out, that shows us, well, let me see if I can bring this in a little bit later. Yeah, there you go. We could potentially see a, a, a $68,000 Bitcoin. Now, obviously, these flags are uh, will take forever. It's long term. It, this doesn't happen open overnight. But it's something that we can look out for, and then how we can obviously uh, 
you know, charge it up, see how we can go. Uh, moving down towards the one hour time frame, we can see that it is retesting the support. Uh, I, I do believe this is going to break in a very short term. It doesn't look too bullish, but the macro does look a little bit better, especially with someone who bought Bitcoin. Now, uh, what I do see happening in the very short term is that it will test the 21 EMA, uh, and then hopefully we'll, we'll see whichever direction it'll go. If it, goes, if it bounces out, it'll go up, it'll go down. Uh, one thing that we can do uh, is that we can see a strong, 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 strong positive correlation in the RSI where it is bouncing, 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 bouncing. And of course the price is dropping, which is a negative correlation, which usually RSI does congest a positive price impact. Now, of course we have seen that on the on-chain data that people are buying Bitcoin, which is also a good sign for us as well. Okay. So guys, uh, if I also move down towards the monthly, uh, we can also see that I, I and I spoke this a lot a lot of times before. Uh, let me see if I can bring this up. We do have to be above this red line here. Yes, I know we are currently uh, just about just just like tipping it, but because we are going to close in monthly and the yearly candle today, uh, we have to be careful. We have ten hours. Uh, my best scenario is that if Bitcoin can manage itself to be above. This line here, which is 50,545, does give or take 0.05%. We can also see that this will be a better scenario for uh, Bitcoin and, and the whole crypto market in a whole. Okay. So in the next few hours, we hope that Bitcoin can go up. No fault arises on New Year's Day. Well, New Year's Eve uh, slash New Year's Day is 10 hours, guys. Uh, but well, we do want to see Bitcoin uh, heading up. Um, but we do expect a rally. So with all the tax, uh, with, all the, with all the institutions and retailers who uh, took their profits and so they can pay off their taxes and, and get their bonuses and etc. We are expecting a better 2022. Now, we hope that we do see that happen very quickly for for, for crypto in a whole. So hopefully that, that's what's going to arise for 2022. We just have to close above this red line uh, anywhere around here or even better above the 50,500, 600 area. All right, guys, that is it for today. Uh, thank you everyone for listening. And I hope you guys have a, a very lovely 2022. Uh, God bless you all and bye-bye.